I'm home, it's in the 80s, and life is good. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing and following. I am here in sunny South Florida. This is literally my parents' backyard. This is the pool. This, I guess, is the best part of our house, I would say. But anyways, if you remember, I quit my job as a TV news reporter, packed up all my stuff on my last day, moved it to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which is where my boyfriend is, and then the next day hopped on a plane and ended up right back here in South Florida. This is where I grew up and where my parents still currently live. So um, the first two weeks of unemployment, I have been living here at home with my family and I decided to do a whole vlog on what these two weeks looked like. I know I just posted the job interviews one and that was a big part of my time here, but now I wanna take you through some of the fun stuff, whether it be hanging out with some friends, going to the beach, going to the gym. I'll even introduce you guys to my dad. But yeah, this will be the last two weeks of my life, so it's gonna be a lot of random clips. Here we go. I am on my way to a dentist appointment because my benefits and tomorrow and of course I had to get some Duncan okay I know it's before a dentist but it's fine and this is my father Johnny dad what did you say when we went through the Duncan drive-through I didn't prepare myself accordingly in uh, Duncan 101 in junior college so I'm lacking one unit to express exactly the way the verbiage goes <laughs> he says you need to take a college class because of my order so all I get at Duncan is an iced coffee with cream, two pumps of caramel, and a Splenda. And he says, that's too complicated. I need a college credit course on that. And he, it was even worse yesterday in the Starbucks line. What, which one was more complicated? The uh, Starbucks actually is, is, is valued at three units <laughs> course credit. <laughs> and what's, what's Duncan? One unit, it's a lot easier. Okay. And I don't think my coffee is that complicated, but apparently Johnny does. No more comments. Hi. Stop now. Jenna Marie. Those are my teeth. Are those perfect? All the yellow is gone. How'd I do? Fantastic. 10 out of 10? Wonderful. Three out of ten. <laughs> Three out of ten. This is day two of being back in Florida. Right now I am heading to my best friend Veronica's house and oh my goodness, there's a car next to me. I'm not used to doing these vlogs. I feel like someone's gonna just be standing there and just like awkwardly watching, probably like this car. Um, but I'm just gonna keep going because I think that's how you're supposed to do it. So anyways, I'm going to my friend Veronica's house. We are going to the gym, thank goodness, because I literally have not been in a gym since like a week. And for me, I'm like a very big burn boot camp goer. I would go at least like four to five times a week. And just with the move and being in like so many states in a week, it was just so much and so exhausting. And hey, maybe that's an excuse, but I'm using the excuse because I was so tired. And so now I am stuck at this red light and I am going to Veronica's. And yeah, I'm really, really excited just to see her. She's my good friend from college and just to work out with her. So I will introduce y'all to her when I get there. We made it finally at the nicest gym in South Florida, UFC. Period. Period. I don't even know the name of this gym, UFC but I've only, been, I've only been here once, but this is our girl, Veronica. <laughs> We are done. V, how'd it go? It was great. Jenna's a superstar. <laughs> it's so windy in Florida right now. Look at this. It's actually, there's like tornado watches right now in um, Cincinnati and, and Nashville. Uh -oh. And here we are in sunny South Florida. So we are now in the car and Veronica here is about to catch a flight to Phoenix, Arizona for a wedding. I'm super excited. And still fit in a workout. That is dedication right yeah, there. We had to move our bodies, you know? I was working all day. I always do this to myself. At least I've already packed. Like I've been in situations where I've like tried to go do something right before a flight and I hadn't packed yet. And I had like 20 minutes to pack and then I got to my destination and I had literally no idea what was in my Nothing, space. nothing. Literally, probably nothing, yeah. So at least I packed. So but still has to get a wedding card. 
Yeah, well, that'll do it tomorrow. I was a chronic procrastinator, but I still graduated from UF. So. Oh, our graduate, I always say this, graduating from UF was teamwork. It, yeah. That was not a single degree that, no, that we, was, is that awful to admit? I think graduating with a journalism degree from UF or telecommunication news to be exact. Listen, but we are street smart, we're not book correct. smart. Correct. That's what we got We all that. work together and we, we got that degree. Here we are all exactly. these years later, all these years as in like five, six years later. When I graduated 2017. So what's that, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's six, six years. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. I don't like this look. I'm gonna copy you. This look? Oh, my hair. I always do that because it's annoying. It's so annoying, but it, it's a look. Like It is a I look. I literally got these black glasses mm -hmm. as an accessory, not because of the sun. Not because they're cute. No, these are actually, I do like these. These are my one and only pair of Ray-Bans, but my mother sat on them in my car, so they kind of slant on my face. You know, they do a little slant slant. But I saw this TikTok video the other day where this girl was talking about like how her... <laughs> <laughs> she like her sunglasses were always crooked like her entire life. That's me. And I she, swear. <laughs> she literally thought that like <laughs> she thought that all the glasses she got were just always broken, but her nose. Is but is her crooked. nose? Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe I just have a messed up face. But my mom did sit on these glasses, and so when I take pictures of them, I slightly turn my head, just just a little. Oh, just a little. If you, have a, if you have a crooked nose, and your glasses are tilted. Just, just go. Tilt just head go a little bit. No one's gonna know. Yeah. tonight espresso uh 40 proof <laughs> 40, 40 proof delicious good thing you're not on tv this is debbie and sal they live in new york oh ready salute. one two three salute means cheers salute. this is day four being back in florida i am tanning in my parents' courtyard. This is like literally paradise. I don't know how I gave this up for so long. It's just so beautiful out. We tried to go to the beach earlier today, but there was literally no parking. So we went and we circled around and then we gave up. And now I decided to just put a chair out and lay out in the nice little courtyard. And yeah, it's really beautiful out. It's sunny, it's super hot. I'm like sweating, I'm just not used to this sun anymore i guess i can't complain right but there's no place like home so my mom gave me a very very obscure assignment today during lunch she is sending me to the flea market and she said go to the food court go all the way down go to the right there's going to be a spanish stand like a spanish-esque food court kind of thing go get a tamale and some ropa vieja i'm probably pronouncing this wrong so don't come at me and I'm like, okay, do you know the name of the, the restaurant? She's like, oh, no. Just go in, go to the right, and it's right there. My mom's at work. So let's see uh, how this turns out because I, I, I haven't been to the flea market probably in ye like years because I even when I lived here, I never really went with her to the flea market. I felt, I don't want to say it was like an old lady thing, but definitely not my age group to say the least. <laughs> Okay, she said go in and go all the way to the right. I think I found it. I think I found it. I think it's La Vina. That's where I need to go. Cuban Cafe. The goods have been secured. I feel so fat just getting so much stuff. And then a Cafe Con Leche. I love this. And yes, to my point, I mean, you can even see right there. I absolutely was the youngest person in there by de decades. So it's a pretty neat little thing though. I don't remember it being like this nice. There's a lot of like little shops. They had some jewelers in there. They had like cute little boutiques. Should I just eat the empanada in the car? Should I be that person? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so fried and it's so bad. But look at her. She is perfection. Guys, this is the finished product. Oh my 
goodness, look at that. What's up guys? We are at Peanut Island with Why Veronica are you right now? and her brother who is doing absolutely all this guys, work. We're literally sinking right now. Veronica and I are being the passenger princesses. Well, we're sinking. And that's her dad. Oh my goodness. We are yeah, be we careful. are careful. Put that thing away. I don't want you to fall. What I'm doing for the vlog. We're being risky. We're keeping her, but look how gorgeous. Controlled sinking as Cam says. Yeah. Yeah, Everyone say hi to YouTube. <laughs> if there's, if there is a weight capacity, we're at it. We're at it. I ate too much pasta last night, as the Italians would say. He's on, killing it over here. Go Cam, go Cam. It's so bad that Cameron is literally pulling us. All of this to save $18. To save $18. This is what happens when you're unemployed. <laughs> Update, we made it from all the way across there to here on a three-person kayak. V, how we doing? We're here. Ooh. What'd you name them? Krabby. Krabby. This was literally under our kayak. We're saving Krabby. What do you want? A good photo. This is my needy cousin. I won't push you. Are you doing the wave thing? I'm not even texting you. <laughs> oh, you're not? It's all you, no. It's all me! It's all you. I did it! Yes, Jenna, you're, you're, you're moving. Don't yes. worry, I got the hands. Can you guys believe this? You're doing I only it. fell once. And I got it on film. You did? Yeah. Oh, guys. This is really a struggle. I'm on a leash. That's my favorite thing, the leash. Okay, I'm squatting. I'm doing what I do at Burn Boat Camp. <laughs> Look how far away the board is from me. <laughs> I am finally leaving Peanut Island. We were there for hours today, so I don't know. Am I burnt? I'm probably burnt. I guess you don't really know until after you shower. But yeah, we got a little arm workout in with um, kayaking and it was just such a blast. My cousin and his girlfriend were there and then obviously Veronica and her friends. We did not tip the kayak. We had a good old ball. It was, it was a really good time hanging out with all of them and now a 45 minute drive home. Days like today just make me miss living in Florida, living by my people. There is just nothing better than like hanging out with your best friend and just family. I, I come from like a very big Italian family. And so we are all so close. I have 13 first cousins and we all genuinely are, I don't, I don't even know if I would say like best friends, but I would choose them. I would choose to hang out with them over friends any day. And my real close, close friends know they're always welcome in that, in that group, always welcome around the family and just, it's days like this that just like after living away from Florida for five years, it's it just makes me miss it. It makes me so grateful for this time here. I, I can't even express the gratitude I have to just be able to take a break. And I know like I take a break from work and I know not everyone is so fortunate for that. And for my parents to just, you know, welcome me home. And my dad even said something recently and he was just like, it's just so nice to have you here. And it, it really is like I can't express the love that I feel and not only from just like being home with my family and all of that just the love I feel from you guys as well just from following and just all the sweet comments and posts and yeah I don't know maybe I'm just having a moment I, <laughs> but it, it does feel really good and it makes the days I remember like thinking like, oh, should I leave news? Should I do it? It's far too often like a career just defines you. And 
I'm so grateful I had friends and family to support me through that mindset change. Like it does not define you. Work does not define you. You can make something of yourself in other ways. And of course I'm still looking for a job. Of course I'm still doing all that right. But one thing I learned in news, life is so short and I'm never gonna get this time back. I am looking at this time as a time to be grateful and just a time to try new things. So hence the YouTube, right? But yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna end this video. I wanted to just kind of do like a recap of my two weeks in Florida. Um, obviously my comments, my DMs are always open. I've already loved chatting with a couple of you guys. You've been so sweet. I'm definitely gonna try to do some more day in the lives. Um, like a couple get readies with me. Hopefully they'll be a little bit better than my last one. If there's any other comments you guys have, any other suggestions, don't be shy. My DMs are always open and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.